A strike looming this morning with LAUSD, the union representing bus drivers, custodians, cafeteria workers, and other school employees say they're striking because of unfair labor practices. Also, teachers plan to strike in solidarity. We're going to get an update at 10 a.m. from LAUSD, but the superintendent says schools would probably shut down if a strike happens. So how would that impact families? Joining us now is Kent Wong, the director of UCLA Labor Center. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it. Nice to be with you. You know, we had the superintendent on last week. He was adamant that this was not going to happen. They were not going to get to a strike. But as each day passes, it looks more and more likely that it could happen. What would the biggest impacts be? So there are 30,000 members of the Service Employees International Union, Local 99, that are opposed to go on strike. They may uh, announce as early as uh, in the next week, uh, but they are planning for a three-day strike. and the 30,000 members of the United Teachers of Los Angeles have pledged to honor the picket lines and to support the strike in the event that the, um, uh, the classified workers uh, launch the strike. And that's a really big deal, right? Because you look at it, and when you're talking about bus drivers, custodians, cafeteria workers, those are the people who really support what happens in the school. If the teachers say, hey, these people aren't you know, here, we're not going to come into the classroom and teach. We're going to stand on the picket line with them. And there's no school. How should families really be preparing for this? It's a challenge for everybody. And the reality is that the teachers, the uh, classified workers do not want to go on strike. You know, they're very dedicated to the students. They're dedicated to their schools. The reality, however, is this has been an extremely difficult time for people in public education, especially during the pandemic. We have seen a lot of uh, burnout, a lot of stress, uh, a lot of uh, challenges facing uh, teachers and classified workers who are dealing with the day-to-day -day demands of addressing their students' needs. So uh, uh, in the event there is going to be a strike, it is going to cause a major disruption in uh, the city of Los Angeles. And so it's important for people to be prepared. Well, that's you think about, you know, families and how they were impacted during the pandemic of having to do learning from home and remote learning and all those types of things. People kind of got used to it. Now the kids are back. Families are back used to getting them to school. It just seems like this is just such a terrible impact on children are really the ones that end up being in the middle of all this long term. How can this end up impacting the district as well? Well, for over a year, uh, education was done online and this was a huge burden for the teachers, for the students, and for their parents. And uh, uh, the problem is that uh, we still do not significantly value the work of our teachers and the work of our classified employees. They are still underpaid. Yeah. And uh, the custodian workers in particular uh, are among the lowest paid uh, public sector workers around, um, making poverty wages. And so this is just... Um, uh, a serious problem that we as a society need to confront. If we truly want to invest in our future, invest in our students, we're going to have to do something to increase funding to uh, public schools and to raise the wages and benefits for teachers and classified employees. Well, that's, I was going to say, it's not, you know, it, it, sometimes the school district is between a rock and a hard place. It really is us having to, to look and say, what are our morals and values for our kids moving forward? Kent Wan, thank you so much for joining us and breaking all that down. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me.